When it comes to stood up or sat down, our road colleagues over on GCN are very clear that they're undecided on the best technique. And on an e-bike, we've already examined such things as spinning versus grinding, or indeed seat down or seat up. But what about stood up or sat down on an e-mountain bike? What is the fastest and most efficient technique? So here is a steep bank. In fact, this particular bank is the spiritual home for those riders pushing their bikes to the top of a downhill track. Now on e-mountain biking, we've already done some pretty steep climbs over the last year. Such things as the slab and the rock, obviously there was lots of grip there and the angle was quite acute, which meant they had to get out of the saddle simply to keep the front wheel on the ground. However, a bank such as this, what is actually the quickest technique? Are we gonna be quicker stood up or sat down? And what is actually the best technique for tackling such banks as this? So the track we've got here today is about a minute long. It starts off with quite a gradual gradient and then it finishes off with something a little bit more technical and a punchy exit to the climb. Conditions are prime for making consistent climbs. I'm going to be riding my specialised Levo in turbo mode and probably in a mix of gears. So we'll kind of get a bit of insight there into how things change between sat down or stood up on the e-bike. So I think we'll start off with uh, stood up. Do we really have to though, Brandon? Yep. Run one stood up on the e-bike in boost mode. As you can see, there's not many takers for this hill climb here today. Oh, you gotta love these interval sessions on EMBN, right? You ready, Brandon? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ooh. This is absolutely hideous. I hate this. Oh my god. 138. So 138. That's the worst feeling and the worst technique I've ever done. Climbing on an e-mountain bike. It is so unnatural. You might well do that on a non-assist mountain bike, but I can assure you that is totally hideous and totally wrong because you wait in the wrong place, you start spinning, you lose grip, you're gonna shift your weight back. It's actually almost impossible to do a steep bank, and especially one with any loose surface, <sighs> stood up on e bike. However, the time is in, 1.38. Right, I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the hill now and I'm going to, again, ride in boost mode using a range of gears because I think it would be impossible to do a fixed gear climb. It's not road riding after all. Uh, and see what the time is. <laughs> okay, so my lungs my body's just about returned to normal breathing. Uh, just to emphasize you guys that e-mountain biking can actually be equally as much of a workout than as a road bike or as a mountain bike. Okay, Brandon, three, two, one. We're now gonna be sat down, remember, go. Not easy. Ah. 
120. What it emphasizes is that when you sat down, you can manage your cadence, you can manage your gearing, which you can't really do when you stood up. When you stood up, it seems the back wheel is too far behind you to control the grip and the gears. And also you can pick your way and get a decent pace, whereas when you stood up, you're actually snatching at it. I think stood up is totally impossible to do on e mountain bike over hills a minute to a minute and a half and beyond. Oh my God, did you really just make me do that? I think what's really important is this is not road biking on consistent surfaces. It's not mountain biking, which is another climbing skill again. This is e-biking, or should I say e-mountain biking, where your technique for climbing, and you will probably be doing hills five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and you know, over an hour. And what you do is you sit down, you spin for a section. If you come to a difficult bank, maybe something like this, you actually keep your cadence and then Then you use it, you actually stand up for the tricky sections, you conquer that, spin onto the next section, do the next section, stood up, clean it, you just work your way up the hill. You certainly don't try and force it by standing up like you would on a road bike. 18 seconds, I actually felt it was more like 18 minutes when I finished that first uh, stood up climb. But in the end, I think we're probably just as inconclusive as our colleagues on GCN that you cannot actually do one or the other. It all depends on the shape of the hill that you're climbing. But one thing is for sure, you cannot sustain an e-mountain bike climb stood up for more than a minute. You might be able to do it on a road bike, but remember the surfaces are far more consistent on a road bike. On an e-bike, you've got loose rocks, you've got changing banks, changing gradients all the way up the hill. So sat down is a far more natural way to sustain that climb. You can change your gears, you can change your body position, and also you can change the shape of or height of your seat dropper. Uh, so yeah, really interesting. Won't recommend you to go and do that. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to go and check out what it's like to be seat down or seat up, me and Chris did that in North Wales, another inter interesting video, or spinning versus grinding. Uh, have a look at that video at your leisure. Uh, let us know your thoughts, or if you need any questions about climbing techniques on your e-mountain bike, let us know in the comments below. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and of course, uh, hit the subscribe to EMBN.